A lot of your favorite Roblox YouTubers don't talk about this, but they all do feel this inside. They don't like Roblox that much. They are bored to death of it. And chances are, you are too if you're watching this video. I get it, it's a very depressing feeling. I think I speak from experience when I say that I used to love playing this game a lot. There was a period in time where I could lose myself in the experiences and the games that I played back in the day. There would be days where I would play Roblox for 6, 7, maybe even 8 hours. And that's rookie numbers. I know some of you guys right now used to play Roblox for double digit hours in a day. But nowadays, when you go to the front page and you check out the newest games, they don't seem to reignite the spark that you once had for the games. That was basically my story with Roblox. And that was what I was feeling a lot of the time a few months ago. And if you're still watching this video, I think you feel the same too. I really want to go back for the good times, back when Roblox was better. I started to blame the games that were coming out for my lack of enjoyment. I thought that Roblox games had declined in quality. I blamed the community for becoming more toxic and less friendly, and I blamed Roblox for the trash updates that it gave us. I came with the mindset that if we reversed everything and we went back to the good times, Roblox would be fun again. But let me tell you, it wouldn't be. Let's say your happiest times with Roblox were in 2016. And if you were to be transported to 2016 again, I tell you, you wouldn't feel a fraction of the enjoyment that you had back then. It's because this old Roblox is better thing has been roaming around for a very long time now. While you were having the most fun with Roblox, there was probably someone else like you right now saying that old Roblox was better. It's a cycle. Back in 2018, people would say that 2016 was better. In 2016, people would say 2014 is better. Back in 2014, people will say 2012 is better. It's a cycle. And when I realized that, it changed like my entire mindset. But before I continue, I just want to ask, is this video still feeling valuable to you? Did something click right as I just said that? Even if you were transported back to the past, you still wouldn't feel the same enjoyment that you had back then. Because I don't think people really want for a time in which Roblox is better. I think they want a time in which their life is better. I can't speak for everybody because everyone's situation is different but growing up actually kind of sucks you have more responsibilities now maybe a tragic life event happened in between i think this painful nostalgia for old roblox generally stems not from roblox becoming worse but stemming from a time in which people felt happier and to be honest i don't have the answers for that because i simply don't have the ability to fix everyone's issues let alone mine but the only thing i can help you is that to make your roblox experience better and this is something that i did over the past two months which has allowed me to make roblox feel fun again Genuinely, when I play Roblox nowadays, I actually feel fun. And do you know what the answer is? Play less. If you feel it has gotten stale, play less of it. Take a break if you need to. The problem is when you play Roblox too much, the novelty wears off after a while. You have most likely played Roblox very consistently over the past few years, and my fix to it is just taking a break. For this month, I think I've barely played Roblox at all. That's why the gap in my upload schedule was there, because I simply wasn't playing anything. You have gotten burnt out from the game, and you need to take a break from it. If you're this far into the video, you're really special because I know that you really have a brain. You're not one of those TikTok kids that needs dopamine every 2 seconds and scrolls TikTok for 8 hours a day. You genuinely care, and so I think you deserve this advice that I'm about to give you. Give yourself a reason to play Roblox. Don't go on it mindlessly just because you have nothing better to do. Of that 100% of the time that you have been playing Roblox, you probably remember just 10% of it. Why? Because for the other 90%, you've been playing it without any reason. Give yourself a reason every time you play. It could be your friends hopping on and you want to play it with them. Maybe you saw this really good game on the front page and you want to try it out. It's a hell yes or no decision. Of course, you're not going to play this game for hours on end with fun because of this new mindset. You may only have one, two, or just three hours of fun from this method, but it's much better than wasting 10 hours in a game, having two hours to actually enjoy playing, and be bored for the next eight hours. Leave in all the best moments, cut out all the boring ones, and that's how you enjoy Roblox again. Thank you for watching, and if you want to see another video from me, watch this video about how Roblox would be affected if TikTok shuts down tomorrow. And yeah, I'll see you there.